There was an expectation back in the 1960s in the West that religion was going to die out. This was all part of a theory of the evolution of religion, that it began as magic, then became religion, and then science was going to, in the end, take over. And religion was going to fade out of the scene, and also because the world, at least the Western world, was becoming more secular. But in point of fact, we've become more religious. Back in the 80s, a religious studies expert from the States spent some time researching in New Zealand. He wrote a book called The Islands of the Dawn, and in it, his research indicated that on a per capita basis, New Zealand, even then, as a secular nation, was more virulently religious than California. Religion takes many forms. It's not just organized churches, official religious institutions. It's the way in which people engage in understanding and relating to wider dimensions of life. So religion is a highly diversified phenomenon and it's persisting. Of course, it becomes more evident when you look at the way in which major religions are ebbing and flowing around the world. In some parts of the world, Christianity is in decline. In other parts, it's racing ahead. Similarly with Islam, which is racing ahead in Africa and the Middle East and so on. So religion uh, is by no means a dead phenomenon. I think so long as there are human beings, there will be religion, but it will just look different. One of the areas I've been looking at is uh, religious extremism. And the root problem underlying religious extremism is actually to do with pluralism, or strictly speaking, plurality, diversity. One of the major, major issues that all religious communities have to contend with these days is how to actually cope with and deal with people who are different, other religions. We've seen it throughout history with the Christian Church. We know that not so long ago in New Zealand, uh, Catholics wouldn't be seen dead with Protestants and vice versa, that kind of thing, in the mid-20th century. And if you go back further in Western history, Catholics and Protestants were very adept at burning each other at the stake and that kind of thing. So we've had all sorts of extremisms based on the inability of Christians just simply to live with differences within their own camp. That all changed during the 20th century with what's called the ecumenical movement. And that gave a model, if you will, for religious diversity to cohabit peacefully. But now the issue has become more one of clashes and encounters across religions. Historically, of course, a long clash and encounter between Christianity and Islam. And in some parts of the world that, of course, is very, very problematic and has now, uh, with Al-Qaeda, a globalised dimension to it. So I'll be exploring some of these issues and the relationship between religious ideology and terrorist extremism.